just take a gander at the 2019 Lamborghini Urus to see that hybrids have turned into an essential fiendishness for even the most distinguished makers. Alfa Romeo winds up in a comparable position with the 2018 Stelvio SUV, which, as a high-riding utilitarian worked on the beautiful, 10 best cars winning Giulia vehicle, reinforces Alfa's lineup in its arrival to the US advertise. While the Stelvio additionally represents that adding utility to an execution brand's DNA can in some cases dash our desires, the final product is a refreshingly fulfilling SUV to observe. The presence of the Stelvio was at first somewhat of a frustration, what with Alfa Romeo having prodded us before its introduction with the likelihood of building a ground-embracing wagon form of the Giulia. Hot, low through, and hypothetically pervaded with the same sensitive physicality that makes Alfa's 4 entryway one of our most loved new autos, a forthcoming Giulia wagon had us feeble in the knees. In any case, actually a wagon would have been a non-starter for a re-emerging brand in the present market. Against the shockwave of the business hybrid blast, the two-box Giulia didn't stand a possibility. Serving the masses. Enter the Stelvio, which is intended to sop up the spills of rural existence with 19 cubic feet of payload space behind its back seats, 57 3D shapes with the seats stowed, and a seating tallness around 6 inches loftier than the sedans. While we've yet to test the 505 horsepower Stelvio Quadrifoglio, an adaptation that as of now holds the lap record for hybrids around the Nurburgring, we have now tried the standard, Turbo 4 model. The Stelvio's mechanical cosmetics shadows that of the Giulia, a turbocharged 2.0-liter inline-four making 280 pull and 306 pounds to foot of torque, supported by an 8-speed program transmission. Alpha's all-wheel drive framework, which is $2,000 additional on the Giulia, is standard on all Stelvios. The hybrid additionally profits by the common aluminum escalated design, which helps make the 4,037-pound Stelvio altogether lighter than a significant number of its companions, including the most recent Audi Q5 and BMW X3. That daintiness didn't mean more noteworthy mileage in our testing, in any case. Our auto's 19 mile per gallon watched figure was 3 miles per gallon not as much as its EPA city appraisal toward the lower end of the conservative OOTA section. Furthermore, its 26 mile per gallon execution on our 75 mile per hour throughway efficiency circle came up 2 miles per gallon shy of its interstate rating. For reference, the all-wheel drive Juia we already tried weighed 377 pounds less and oversaw 23 and 32 miles per gallon in similar measures. The Stelvio charges better at the test track, where the heavier hybrid really was marginally faster off the line than the non-quadrifoglio Julius we've tried, 0 to 60 miles per hour in a strong 5.4 seconds, with a quarter mile go of 14.1 seconds at 98 miles per hour riding on discretionary 20-inch aluminum wheels, 18s are standard, with 19s additionally accessible, wrapped with 255-45R20 Continental Cross Contact LX Sport all-season tires. Our test illustration posted 0.84 grams of grasp on the skid pad and halted from 70 miles per hour in 176 feet, respectable returns for a two-ton SUV not wearing elite summer elastic. In the more prominent hybrid progressive system, the Stelvio doesn't exactly have the moves or the speed to coordinate the all the more capable, V6-controlled Jaguar F-Pace and Porsche Macan on comparable tires, yet it can defeat the Audi Q5 and the Mercedes-Benz GLC 304 Matic in almost all powerful measures. Capacity and Fizz Radiating a very much adjusted comportment that ingrains trust in its pilot, the Alfa is more receptive to contributions than most hybrids particularly with our test auto's best level T-Sport bundle. $4,500 more than a base Stelvio and $2,500 more than a mid-range T, which comprises of 20-inch wheels, a game-tuned suspension, calfskin brandish seats with flexible side supports, segment-mounted move paddles, painted brake calipers, and dark outside accents. With heaps of aluminum in the control arm front and multi-link raised suspensions, the Stelvio offers both satisfying consistency to street flaws and sharp body control when pushed hard. As in the Giulia, the Turbo 4 transmits a repressed snarl and pulls firmly with negligible slack. The 8-speed gearbox benefits as much as possible from the 2.0-liters yield with smooth, brisk movements and pleasantly arranged programming that doesn't promptly race for top apparatus. 
Alfa Romeo's brake-by-wire framework additionally is greatly improved acknowledged in the Stelvio, with a firm, simple-to-tweak pedal that is altogether more direct in real life than the GUI is. Purchasers anticipating that the vehicle's energy should exchange over in place will be disillusioned by the Stelvio's more inaccessible association with the street. Chalk up quite a bit of that to the material science of a bigger, heavier vehicle with a functional mission. Yet, some accuse likewise can be required for the controlling tuning, which, while critical for its accuracy and briskness, feels latent by the car's light and loquacious steerage. Flipping the Alpha's driving mode selector on the comfort to its dynamic setting helps battle the issue by firming up the tiller's protection while honing the motor's throttle reaction and impelling the transmission. We invested the greater part of our energy in the driver's seat and that steer setup. Be that as it may, even in its default normal arrangement, the Alpha sits at the sharp end of the hybrid class, and most customers should observe its physicality to be more than adequate. The Stelvio likewise introduces well at the check, its notable triangular grille and shapely look welcoming bystanders with class and advancement. That one can now and then confuse this Italian siren for a workaday Mazda CX-5 from the back is a result of its worst status as a hybrid. In any case, no doubt about it about this current hoot has attractiveness out and about, especially with its slanting back glass and huge wheels that highlight its dug-in position. The SUV frame additionally bears the Stelvio 8.1 creeps of ground new way and the capacity to tow 3,000 pounds with a discretionary $450 trailer hitch. Running the numbers. The Stelvio's large configuration is practically indistinguishable to the Giulia's, with plentiful space for four inhabitants however not exactly as much space to extend as in the BMW X3. Freight space is on the little end of the range, scarcely outperforming the holdover Porsche Mucken, however the general ergonomics are sound and the coordinated starter catch in our illustration's level base guiding wheel makes for a slick showpiece. Be that as it may, the aluminum trim in our T-Sport test auto just to some degree lit up the dimness of its dark limits, hotter wood completes our standard in different variants, and the Stelvio's trappings as a rule can appear to be just unremarkable at its $43,190 beginning cost. Its engineered dash top material specifically looks shoddy and relatively reptilian in surface. One look at within any of the German choices gives verification that the inside of an utility vehicle can be very great. Standard hardware is ample, with all Stelvios accompanying Brembo front and back brakes, versatile Bixen on headlights, double zone programmed atmosphere control, cowhide upholstery, 10-way control flexible front seats, a 7.0-inch shading TFT show in the group, a 6.5-inch focal infotainment screen, and Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Notwithstanding the T-Sport bundle. Our case likewise attached the $1,500 Driver Assist Dynamic Plus Bundle, versatile voyage control with unpredictable, forward impact cautioning, mechanized crisis braking, path takeoff cautioning, and programmed high pillars, the $650 Driver Assistance Static Bundle, blind side checking, raise cross movement alarm, and auto diminishing outside mirrors, and the $200 Convenience Bundle. A secure rail framework in the load region and a 115 volt AC electrical plug. Different additional items that pushed our Alphas as tried cost to a not unimportant $55,440 incorporated a $1,350 double sheet sunroof, $950 for root in the overhauled 8.8 inch focus show that is standard on T models, a $900 Harman, Carden premium stereo and $2,200 for Rosso Competizzi and Tricote paint. With offers of hybrids far outperforming those of station wagons, the Stelvio doubtlessly will clear the advancement way for better, future alphas in ways a long roof Jewy and ever could. We most anticipate testing the suggestive Quadrifoglio, yet even this standard rendition makes a solid appearing as a more handy interpretation of one of our most loved driver's autos, and it's a getting expansion to the SUV scene.